Lip Care Routine Achieve pink soft lips just by following simple steps. Welcome back to my channel Butanetacax. Loading. Today's topic. Today I have something. Something informative. Not only for teens but for everyone out there. Lip care. Lip care is very important. Your lips will be thanking you after this video. Every step is very important. I'll make sure you watch this video till end. First of all, why lip care is important. The type of skin on your lips is different from the skin on the rest of your face. The skin on your lips is thinner and more delicate which makes it more susceptible to damage from the sun, wind, and cold weather. Your lips don't have the sebaceous bile glands found elsewhere on your skin. This sets them up for dryness and chapping, especially in cold, extremely hot or windy weather. A regular lip care routine can help keep your lips soft and smooth. Lip care routine involves nourishing, protecting, moisturizing, delicate skin on the lips. Lip care is essential not only for comfort and aesthetics of the lips but also for overall oral health, neglecting them can lead to cracked chapped lips and even infections. So here's a lip care routine. You have to follow few simple steps to have cute pink and soft lips. Let's start. First step, exfoliating. First step to achieve pink soft and beautiful lips is exfoliation. Removes dead skin which helps to prevent chapped and dry lips. Smooths lips. Evens out lip tone to minimize the appearance of discoloration. Regularly exfoliate your lips to gradually get rid of the darker hue that they have taken on. Gentle exfoliation can be achieved by two methods by lip scrub. Lip scrub recipe is shown in video or by extremely soft brushes. As I have told before in this video that our lip skin is so delicate and soft. So if we use hard brushes, it can damage our lips. Use this soft brush in circular motion to slough off the dead skin. Remember that gentle exfoliation is the key. Benefits of lip exfoliation. Removes dry skin and prevents chapped lips. Makes lips soft and smooth. Evens lip tone. Hydrates dry lips. Minimize the appearance of discoloration. Keeps lips moist reduces the frequency of soreness, makes your lipstick stay on for longer. Moisturizing. Moisturizing lips is most important step. Homemade lip balm versus branded lip balm. First we will discuss benefits of lip balm. There are many questions about lip balms. There are many rumors about lip balms that they darken lips and they make lips even more chapped. Benefits of lip balm. Moisturize your lips. Protection against harsh UV rays. Lip balms make lipstick glide smoothly. Lip balms at a hint of color. Lip balms at a glossy look. Lip balms help brighten lips. Lip balms take away dryness. Works as a lip mask. It's important to use lip balm. Regularly, you don't want to overdo it. Applying too much lip balm can actually have the opposite effect and cause your lips to feel even drier. To avoid this, apply a thin layer of lip balm and reapply as needed. Can lip balm lighten dark lips? Using lip balm, preferably one with a high SPF, can help in lightening dark lips. Lip balm for soft, supple lips. Burt's Bees Beeswax Lip Balm, Neutrogena Norwegian Formula Lip Moisturizer, Nivea Lip Balm, Glossy Finish Fruity Cherry Shine, Lacme Lip Love Chapstick Cherry SPF 15, the Body Shop Vitamin E Lip Care, Maybelline New York Baby Lips. These lip balms were branded lip balms, but I recommend homemade lip balms. There is a video about natural lip balm on my channel. I will paste link of the video in description. Esp for lips. Why? We all know importance of protecting our skin from sun, but do you know our lips need sunscreen too? Long term exposure to the ultraviolet rays in sunlight can put the skin covering your lips in danger. Use an SPF lip balm regularly to protect your lips from sunburn, harmful, cancer causing radiation, and maybe even prevent some of those sun exposure lip wrinkles. Hydration. Keep yourself hydrated too. 
avoid chapped and cracked lips just like our skin our lips also need some night care use a cleansing balm or gentle makeup remover and cleanse lip products like lipstick or gloss from your lips after cleansing apply overnight lip mask or a thin layer of coconut oil avoid licking your lips licking the lips may provide temporary relief but can lead to further dryness and irritation due to evaporation of saliva avoid biting or picking your lips it can cause damage bleeding and delay the healing process if you have a habit of lip biting try to identify the triggers and find alternative ways to manage stress or anxiety avoid harsh products be mindful of lip products irritating ingredients like that contain harsh or menthol camphor or fragrances as it can lead to allergic reactions dryness irritation avoid sharing your lip products avoiding to share your lip products such as lip balm lipstick or lip gloss with others prevent the spread of bacteria or infections